Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to RMP Entertainment and today I'm going to talk about something very viral that has been happening on Singapore recently. So actually I was, uh, you know, especially for me who is working from home, uh, you know, you tend to get distracted and sometimes you halfway working, want to look at Facebook, uh, all this kind of thing. So apparently there's this woman who recently got very viral who uh, her name is uh, Irene or something uh. she's the I'm sure many of you guys have uh, heard about her so before we start with any comments or anything let me show you for uh, in case for those of you who don't know what is actually happening so this woman called Irene right she was in like you can see in the video right she was actually in the MBS if I'm not wrong so yeah, she apparently refuses to wear a mask and let's take a look at the video. Let's restart the video in case you guys cannot hear. Who are you representing? We represent to MBS. That's what you SBA. say. I can say that I'm a police. You, you, you are police. Oh, okay. So but you don't have a badge. The police also need to wear a mask. Do you have a badge? Please wear a mask. Wear a mask, this please. This lady. Are you harassing me? Are you harassing me? No, I'm not going to. Are you creating to, a scene? Going to arrest you. But then put on your badge. I just, if you want to charge them, put on your badge. Come. To settle this problem now, please you wear your wear your mask. Hello, sister. Hello, sister. I said to you, if you have no badge, don't speak to me. You have no right to ask me to do anything. No, no, no. You don't have a badge. Who are you representing? Oh wow. that snobbish face. I think that's the end of it, right? Yeah. So apparently, as you guys can see in the video, this woman is... I'm not sure why is she even asking for a badge. I mean like, uh, from what we know for Singaporeans, we always have this safety we always know there's a safety ambassador then they are wearing a safety ambassador thing to represent who they are so what kind of badge is she talking about <laughs> i also not sure i mean like even if she is not wearing the mask now i think she's like you see as you guys can see she's queuing for queuing for uh, to go into a shop I think the shop will also refuse to let her go in so what, what is she meaning what, what does she mean and uh, so this uh, Irene right she apparently got uh, caught by the police and she was needed to be in the court lah to explain what actually happened and uh, this is the video that I actually saw today and wow, I don't know. <laughs> Let's watch the video. Why is she taking her mask off? And... Guys, you know what I heard from? I heard from the news, right? That her reason was actually she was uh, she just came back from Scotland, and she actually didn't know that a uh, mask is compulsory for her to wear. Okay, for that that point, she gave maybe I put it aside lah. But this video. She's already in court. Means she's already no. She's she's already aware of what's happening in Singapore. She's needed to wear masks. So when the uh, reporters are taking her video, why is she see? Why is she still taking out her mask and smiling away? Come on, man. I mean, like, 
we are all suffering here and Singapore, we are trying very hard to fight this COVID by wearing our masks. And listen, I mean, the the government knows the regulations more than the mask is actually to protect us and to protect the people around us. So, I'm so angry with this Irene Ang. So, what you guys think? Can you guys comment and tell me what you think? Or maybe if I say something wrong, please comment also. Like, maybe I'm in the wrong to say something like this, but I'm very angry about how she's reacting to whatever laws that Singapore have. I mean, like, the... The law should do something to her to make her actually learn that this thing is not funny, you know. This thing is not something to joke around. It's a virus that actually affected a lot of people worldwide and every country is trying to do their best to fight this COVID. And this snobbish woman is just down there and being arrogant and saying that what? COVID can't attack me. Even if COVID can't attack her, COVID will attack the people around her, right? Oh my God. And okay, let's sidetrack also because I was um, looking at uh, KL had this uh, incident whereby um, a train actually hit each other very suddenly because some of the some of the commuters actually got uh, injured lah. So let's take a look at the video and. If I'm not wrong, he's this guy is the transport minister, uh, and let's see what he has to say. After this morning, sir, you take a look, sir. Yeah. Huh? What's the situation in the tunnel? What situation? Yeah, in the tunnel now. Normal. Only the two Normal. cars are now together. <laughs> they kiss each other. <laughs> the he is also okay. laughing. I'm also laughing at him. With the line. Hmm. So, anything else? Oh my god. Okay. Sorry, sidetrack a bit. I mean, like, just now we were talking about Singaporeans, right? I just want to show you guys about this. <laughs> what do you mean is normal? I mean, like, people is injured and two trains hitting each other is not normal. I'm sorry, I, guys. I truly, I just want to vent anger. <laughs> There's a lot of videos that I feel that is not rational at all. The explanation, especially... This explanation is not... How do you explain... Okay, imagine if someone were to actually die inside the train and you give that kind of reason. Oh, it's actually normal. Two trains were actually kissing each other. <laughs> what? Guys, please tell me about what you guys feel about all the videos I've shown. So, maybe we can have a discussion on <laughs> each other opinion. I mean, like you, if you have your own opinion, I will respect that. I will have my own opinion, but... Uh, at the end of the day, we are all trying to make the world a better place. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do forget to don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and keep on watching videos and supporting us. Thank you guys. Bye bye.